Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a quick uh, shooting and review of a frame that I received as part of a trade. Uh, if you've seen my quick overview video um, that I just put out uh, not too long ago, you'll recognize that this wonderful little Martin Whippet Mini Moocher. As I mentioned in that video, uh, this did not come banded. I put on the double 2040s and I used the uh, rep and snare method uh, pioneered by Toddy. Basically you put your wrapping material through the hole in the forks, put your tubes down, and then you do the normal wrap and tuck. That way with tubes especially they will not slip. Uh, just banded this up. I received this on Saturday. It is now Monday. Uh, Monday evening at time of filming. May not get this up posted tonight, but I uh, filmed the Monday night and shot this a little bit and have had no problems. Uh, this frame, if you can see, has a wonderful character with it, with the green and black. Uh, the green and black material, if I remember correctly, is G10. And this black material right here is paper micarta. This is very solidly built, excellent craftsmanship. Uh, Martin does a phenomenal job. I've seen numerous frames of his that he's posted on various forums. All of them look absolutely top notch. Um, as I mentioned, this frame was received as a trade. Um, however, this is one that I definitely would buy. Love this thing a lot. This is a phenomenal frame. Uh, one thing I, I love is the size. It's very pocketable. It fits my hands very well. It's very comfortable. One thing that uh, I did notice is the the forks are at a 45 degree angle, so they're not quite upright, which if uh, you're shooting partial butterfly at a 45, shooting at like holding the frame at 45 degrees, the bands will line up if you want to do any kind of target shooting. Fantastic little frame. Uh, the fork gap is roughly the same as the Bactrian from Metrograde Goods. Um, I use the Bactrian because Metro has the measurements on there. I don't remember exactly what this is for measurements of the fork gap. And that's why I use, this as kind of my standard comparison between um, frames that are similar size. Uh, you will notice that the Mini Moocher is slightly shorter than the Bactrian. So it makes it a little bit easier to pocket as well. And as far as thickness goes, uh, because this is aluminum and this is composite materials as well, the Mini Moocher is just slightly thicker. But overall, negligible if you're putting this in your back pocket, front pocket, or any kind of bag to go out and plink in the woods or do any kind of hunting, whatever you have use of a slingshot. Um, this, was a, this would be a phenomenal addition to any of your gear to carry around when you're out, out and about in the woods. Uh, so enough talking about it, let's get to some shooting. First shot seems to be always a mess when I'm filming. Never fails. One thing with double tubes, uh, I have to make sure that I'm not getting too tangled. But the, uh, the wrap and snare method from Toddy is working very well on these. I have not noticed any slipping at all. Uh, it is phenomenal. When these double tubes wear out, I'm planning on going up in size to uh, either a 1745 or something similar to shoot 3.8 steel and potentially marbles as well. This is an absolutely fantastic frame. I highly recommend checking out Martin's work either on uh, 
some of the various forums that he belongs to. Um, he does have a Facebook page, I believe, that he also sells some of his uh, his Link Trust or catapults, if you will. Uh, I believe he is also a member of various Facebook groups for uh, for slingshots. Absolutely phenomenal frame. I love the size. Simply fantastic. Due to the size, it seems to be fairly easy to be somewhat consistent with this. At least with my shooting method. Of course, I say that, and I have a missile to the right. But that's how I always is Newton's law, right? See if I can get a can cut here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So close. That is hanging on by a thread. This is ridiculous. Anyway, as you can see, that is rather consistent slingshot for me at least. Um, highly recommend the uh, the mini moocher. One thing I will do after these tubes wear out is I will turn this into a um, at least a partial or potentially full butterfly bands to shoot this. Uh, this is one that I can highly recommend. Craftsmanship is fantastic. It feels phenomenal in the hands, even big hands like mine and as you can see I can pretty much palm this slingshot. It is very small but very nice. Phenomenal work. Very glad I was able to get a, do a trade to receive this one. If not, I would definitely would have purchased one of these frames. They're absolutely amazing.